Welcome back to an RPG Architect tutorial. Today's video is a Patreon request from UFO who wanted to see an elemental attribute system that provides weaknesses and resistances. So mainly what this video is going to cover is how to add stats and how to make them into a formula. And once you know those two things, you can really almost make any system you can imagine. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so here I am in the 2D sample project. It comes with the engine. I'm going to hit F8 and we're going to go just familiarize ourselves with where stats are, how to create new ones, where formulas are, etc. So first we're going to start in the characters right here under the hero and we're going to look over here and this is you can kind of tell right away this is where the stats are located for this player. So at level one he's going to have hit points of 18, strength of six, vitality of two, etc, etc. And we can add more and we will get to this when we start adding stats. But for right now let's just take this as is. And also I just want to point out that you can do a formula right here that is going to that will update the whole column. So you could you could easily do that, or you can hard set them, however you want. But, okay, so now that we know where the stats are on a character, let's go to the enemies and just show that they are in the exact same spot, and they're kind of set up the same way. And so we can see that this enemy at level 1 has a vitality of 2. We can see that the hero at level 1 has a strength of 6. So when the character goes to, let's just say, do a normal attack on an enemy, then the formula is going to be strength minus vitality. So if we go to skills, for instance, and we have set up a punch skill, just a normal attack, we can see down here on the formula, we've selected formula, and then it's going to take away from the hit points of the target. And what it's going to do is it's going to do this formula. It's going to minus the user.strength minus the target.vitality. So if the user strength is six and the target, the enemy, which in this case, we know it's going to be one of those, one of the ones that we showed, then it's going to be the target dot vitality, which is going to be minus two. So it's going to take away four hit points from the target. So it's a very, it's a very simple system, but it's very flexible. So now let's add a resistance system to this, a attribute system. All right. So first we're going to go to the statistics tab, and this is where we're going to see where this is where all the stats were set up. For instance, level, we had the, the level column and LV is the shortcut for that. You can see that strength right here is str that's why in the formula here it was user.str you can see target.vtl so you can imagine that vitality shortcut is going to be or the formula name is going to be vtl so we can actually add some right here so let's resize this let's just go to 15 for instance and we can add a new one ourselves and we can call this an elemental attribute and we want to make it a core core makes it to where it will show up on this area right here. So we're going to go to stats back to here, an elemental attribute, and we'll just call this, we can just call this flat out just ATTR for attribute. And we're going to need to set a maximum. So I would set 100, let's just say. And so what I'm thinking, how I've designed stuff in the past, and granted, I don't really make RPGs. So normally I don't need an intensive system. But normally what I would do is assign an attribute per enemy and per character. So this would, or per skill in this case, because you can do it per skill. And so in, for instance, I would have a fire character and then there would be a water enemy. And I would want to make sure that the water enemy did more damage to the fire or vice versa. However, you see fire and water strengths. So, but I do want to set a maximum. Now, what I would recommend is having a notepad and just jotting down what you do. So for instance, if you have, if one equals or zero would equal no element, one would equal fire, two would equal water, stuff like this, you might want to stay organized. So just jot this down in a Google doc or, or something like that. And I guess that makes me think that it would be cool to have this little blank area, have like no area where you could actually keep some running notes on here per stat. That'd be kind of cool. I know this engine's early access still, so maybe that could get added. Who knows? All right. So now that we have set up the statistic, let's apply them to the character and the enemies. So first let's go to the character. I'm going to scroll this window over and we can see that the elemental attribute is now added. Now the character I'm just going to say is fire. Let's just say fire. And that was number one, according to our notes here. So fire number one. So now what I'm going to do is for each level, he's going to still be fire. So I'm actually going to do it a formula. So it applies to the whole column and simply, I'm just going to say one and I'm going to hit okay. And now every level he's going to be one. And this is where you could have like, I don't know, say level five, he 
morphs a uh, Pokemon, you know, more evolves into something else, you could change the elemental accordingly. So now let's go to the enemy and let's go to these ones. And these ones, we're going to scroll over and these ones are water. So I'm going to say this is going to be two. And so that's it. That's applying the, the attribute to the characters and enemies. Now, granted, you'd have a lot more enemies to do this to, I'm sure. Now, the last thing to do is to apply the formula, the correct formula for it. And so that's going to be done again in the individual skills. So there will be a lot of, you know, back and forth thing, depending on how many skills you have, but each skill is going to be where you apply the formula. All right. So since we're going to formulas deeper, I'm going to uh, stop here and recommend that you guys all copy this link down and add it to your bookmarks, because this is going to be the formula format that this uses. And it was super helpful in coming up with a formula for this. For instance, I clicked on the wiki. So this is his GitHub page for JSTOTnet. And then I clicked on the wiki and then I clicked on standard functions and it showed me an example of an if statement. So if A1, A2, A3, it's going to say it means if A1 is true, so this would be like a bool, then A2, else A3. So here's your else and here's your if this condition's true, that's what's going to happen. Now you can also do, we're going to be able to do variables and everything that you'll be able to see, but that is how I was able to get this if statement and understand how to apply it in a formula. So first off, we're going to keep this base formula, which is user strength minus user or target vitality. Now this could be different. You could create stats for magic attack, magic defense. I know there's a wisdom one in this one by default, but I'm just going to keep it simple and just show you how to add the resistance part how you manage your strength for per attack and stuff that that can totally be customizable 100%. So but I'm going to keep the strength minus the vitality. I'm also going to change this to fire punch because now we're going to start adding in that this is a fire punch. And there's going to be some strengths if it if it's a versus a weak monster or something like that. So we're going to keep this minus the strength vitality. But now what we're going to do is we're going to times it and we're going to times it by an if statement. We're going to say if, and then we want the target because the user is fire. We want to see if the target is water. So if target dot attribute equals two, that means that it's water. Then we're going to separate the comma. This is going to be the, if it's true. So if the target attribute does equal two, then we're going to time, we're going to make it 1.5. And that means that we're going to times the strength and vitality, this value that was got. So strength six, vitality of an enemy is two. That would be four. So four times one and a half. And this thing kind of gets in the way. Let's see here. It might be easier, you know, to just copy this, go to a notepad like this and just plug it all in. Here we go. And then I'm going to say another comma. Now this is going to be the else and I'm going to say one. And then the last thing I need to do is just give it a parenthesis. And then I don't really need this one at the beginning. I just noticed. And so we'll copy this and put it into the formula right there. And it took it just fine. And now we'll hit okay and we'll play test this. And remember the base strength is six. The base enemy vitality is two. So it should be doing four hits normal, but since this is a fire punch now, and this is a water enemy, it should do six again. And there we go. It did six damage. So now what we can do is we can add this even further and we can go back to the database. And with this formula here, we can now add what would happen if it is weak against it. So now instead of one, we could do another if statement. We could say if and we can say target dot attribute equals three. Let's say, say three equals stone and fire doesn't do well against stone. Then it's going to equal 0 0.5 else it's going to equal one. And then we just got to make sure that we add another parenthesis because you can see that we have this first parenthesis. So this ending one is for this one technically. So let's add an ending parenthesis. And so you can see that now it's user strength minus target vitality. But then we're going to say, if the target attribute is two, then times it by 0.5. So times it, increase it by 150%. Else, if the target attribute is three, 
we're going to decrease it. So here is your strength, and then here is your weakness as far as applying it to the damage. And so now we're going to copy this, put this in here. Now the only thing left to do is to actually make an enemy with three. So what I'm going to do is just pretend that these enemies are now attribute threes. And sorry if this is kind of confusing because I'm using the same enemy and the same skill and all this stuff, but uh, it should do this really well. So now we'll hit F5. And we'll do this last battle here. And so now we should do 50% less damage because these are technically attribute threes and we're an attribute one. So it should do only two damage. And so there you go. All right, so hopefully this video was helpful. Now this is just one way to do an attribute system like this with strengths and weaknesses. There are so many other ways that might make more sense for your game, but this was just a simple way to understand and get started with statistics and formulas. So if you have a better way or any questions, comments below, Steam Forms, Discord, will get you figured out. With that said, I'll see you at the next video.